Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest in the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today is a very special episode. I'm coming to you from Los Angeles, California at Studio Place, on site, in studio. My guest today, Michelle Murad, who is a writer, a producer. She is reverse engineering Tyler Perry's model, which she's known she's wanted to do since she was just a, a little kid. So we're going to get into that and so much more. She's a show host and she's a dynamic individual. I couldn't wait to get her on the show. So first off, I just want to say, Michelle, welcome to the show. Aw, thanks. Thanks for having me. Okay, so this is the setup. I've been watching your work and where I first met you and saw you was at a Tim Story event mm -hmm. in, in Bel Air. It was this amazing yeah. house and it was one of Tim Story's events. And you got to, you were talking about Studio Place and I'm like, what is this place? Like, yeah. I got to see it. I got to see it for my own eyes maybe we'll shoot our show there yeah. so finally we're here we're yeah. shooting episodes we're also pitching to this hundred episode series to Amazing. another network and all this other stuff which we're gonna get into but That's just awesome. to get us kicked off mm -hmm. I know you've seen the show we'll start this episode the way that we start them all okay with what we call our mission matters minute mm -hmm. So at Mission Matters, our aim and our goal is to amplify stories for creators, for writers, Love for it. entrepreneurs, for those that feel they have a message to get out there. That's our mission. Awesome. Michelle, what mission matters to you? I have so many missions that matter, <laughs> but I think my number one mission that matters is to amplify voices mm -hmm. of so many different stories yeah. and backgrounds of people that haven't really been given the opportunity to live their dreams. So mm. you said it in the intro, yeah. I'm reverse engineering the Tyler Perry model. So I hope to one day have, and it's in the works, MAM Studios, mm. which is Michelle Allegra Murad, and to have actors and writers and producers and directors be part of that to live out their creative mm. dreams because I know how challenging it can be to get that big break. And so my mission is to to really help people mm. lean into their dreams and mostly on the creative side, yeah. but, but it's starting to blend into other worlds. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I've seen you in front of camera. I've seen you mm -hmm. behind. I mean, you're great on both. I mean, you, you helped us tremendously when we were recording Aww, and setting everything you. up. And I guess before we get, I, I do want to ask you, where did all this begin? You said when you were young, you knew about this, even though obviously the Tyler Perry model yeah. hadn't been discovered yet, but mm -hmm. we, he was, you know, still doing it, still creating it. Yeah. But when did you know, like, when did you know this was going to be a serious part of your life? You know, it goes back to like the time I was three years old and my mom, at three, old. Yeah, at three years old, I would like <laughs> set up, I would dance for my parents. Like I put on my ballet, my ballet outfit oh my and I would gosh. dance and I would sing and I would perform. And I felt so mm. much joy doing that. Like, and I feel like a lot of kids do like to put on shows, but then it got progressively more intense. Like mm. My dad got a camcorder and I was like, I, can I borrow your camcorder? And yeah. I was seven yeah. and I set it up in my parents' basement and I set it up and it was called the Michelle show. So I had my own daily talk show and then I would- Hold on, what age was this? Seven. Oh, and then I had- my, Such a great name, the Michelle show. Yeah, well, we, 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 we brought it back, <laughs> <laughs> brought it back last year and filmed it outside last summer, which was really fun. And I would take my Barbies and I would- mm film my Barbie dolls. So I would write scripted content and then film my Barbies. And then I would also host a show. Mm. And then I would direct my friends and like have these plays, like these elaborate plays in my parents' basement. Yeah. And I didn't have a whole lot of friends growing up because I literally looked at each individual friend as like mm. a bigger Barbie doll to be part of my production. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so like I've always known since I was super little. Do you still secretly look at us like that? Like was Kind the, of, yeah, I thought yeah, so. I see the world like a giant sitcom, wow. a giant story. Mm -hmm. And when I was 16 and I was working at a pool, the guy that I was working with was like, do you feel like you're being recorded all the time? And I said, actually I do. Yeah, I do. But it's through my through the, the way I look at the world. Like mm -hmm. I just look at it and I and I try to tell people when they're like tough moments mm -hmm. or awkward or weird moments in life. I'm like, oh, plot twist or oh, that's a good storyline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which has been uh, really helpful for me. And like, you know, conquering some hard 
challenging life mm -hmm. moments. There's something that you said in, in the beginning mm -hmm. and where you mentioned that concept of breaking through and how it could be so difficult. That's mm -hmm. one of the things, and we've never talked about this, but that's one of the things that made me even want to come to Studio Place and oh. to want to work with you is oh. you said a similar version of that in when, at Tim Story's event when you were standing in front of the big old audience and all that. And I was like, and the reason I could feel that is because of all of my friends who grew up in the industry or that were creatives or mm -hmm. trying to do this thing. Mm -hmm. and it was like people wanted a home they wanted a yeah. place to be able to go and shoot to make it possible to not be told no to be able to go out and create their show and go and just do it yeah can you talk to me about that concept of just like yeah. just going and doing it because I see that in you too like just yeah. going to do it yeah well I have ADD so I can't like sit still yeah but it's my superpower mm. and my superpower is to like constantly be creating stuff and mm -hmm. I came out to LA for acting and I got like a bunch of stuff yeah. and I just felt like mm, this doesn't feel right like I feel mm. like there's something more like I love acting yeah. but there's more and and in that more process I was like what is it what is it what is it and went through a horrible breakup mm. <laughs> in 2014 and that breakup encouraged me to like ask the universe or God or whatever mm -hmm. you believe in, like, what do I do? I yeah. don't know what to do. And I heard, right, right. And I was like, wow, where's this voice coming from? I was like, what? Right. So then I went back to school yeah. at UCLA for acting. <laughs> I like wow. avoided the voice. And while I was in that program, I was like, I feel like I'm supposed to be writing. <laughs> so I went to the head of the program and I told him, I said, his name is Brian Fagan. He's incredible. Mm. CLA professional program. And there's only 30 of us. Like mm -hmm. this is a very selective group of actors, very wow. talented. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Anderson was our comedy like coach. Like, Come for, on. yeah, for like a match. So you guys were really slumming is what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah we I had understand. a tough. You we couldn't find tough. anybody. Yeah, so you're exactly. like, okay, we got it. Tough. And <laughs> so very, very talented people. Yeah. And I felt like, we were all sitting in a circle talking about our motives as actors. And I was like, I feel like this is a waste of my time. Mm. And I went, <laughs> I went up to him and he goes, I know people like you. You're like the Mindy Kalings. You're the ones that like mm. aren't just actors. You're like the creators. Mm. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, tell me some of your favorite shows. And I was like, oh, gosh, like they're old, though. I was like, they're yeah. old shows. Like I was like, I love Everybody Loves Raymond. Mm -hmm. I love Seinfeld. I love The Nanny. I was mm. like, like quoting shows that are so like they're old. And yeah. he was like, he goes, do you know that each one of those people yep. created those shows? And it was like this For weird sure. aha moment. I was like, huh? <laughs> and then he goes, well, if you want to like be in the writing program, mm -hmm. you can, you know, try to like submit something and like get it and you potentially mm -hmm. would get in. And, and I was like, yeah. And so I, I wrote something and got in to wow. the program against like a small group of people, very talented people. But I was always told growing up that I was a terrible writer in That's school, it. truly like through wow. teachers. And, and I had, I felt so much joy hearing other people say the words that I put on the page. And I was like, okay, this feels mm -hmm. like it and i won honorable mention for best original pilot comedy mm. pilot <laughs> and then from there all these agents and managers started reaching out to me and i was like oh my god this is it this is it this is it and then it kind of wasn't it i was like mm -hmm. i don't get i don't get it what like this should be like if i'm winning these awards mm -hmm. and people love my writing why is it not happening yeah. and then in 2019, I was asked to be the TA in the producing program at UCLA again, and it was the trifecta. It was like that aha moment. Oh, okay. There so I, I go. needed the writing, I needed the acting, and I needed to understand producing to really make something like happen. Mm -hmm. And so I had written this great script, was talking to amazing managers. I was even talking to Lindsay Lohan's like manager, and it's a really great show idea. Mm -hmm. And then the pandemic happened. Mm -hmm. And I go, this is a really long-winded answer to your question. No, I love it. I love <laughs> um, it. You can follow this. And I just was like, okay, the pandemic, mm -hmm. do I, st like, I can't stop creating. Like, I can't stop moving mm -hmm. because I just, that's just who I am. And I said, you know what? I'm going to create my own show and mm. I'm going to produce it. And I'm gonna raise my own oh, money. Oh wow! So this started back. Okay. This started in so wow. in 20, 
20. I adopted I feel a... like I've known you for like a year and a half now in yeah. terms of following you. Yeah, 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 no, this, is, so, this has been wow. like a, I mean, I, I'm telling you, yeah. this has been in my bones. It's been in my DNA since it's I was amazing. a kid. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know the how or really where <laughs> yeah. I fit in because there were so many things that like I can do and I can do really, really well, which is, you know, a blessing and then a burden at sometimes. But so, yeah, so I, I adopted this dog, Charlotte. She's mm -hmm. five pounds and my sister-in-law got really upset when I introduced her over Zoom and I go, this is Charlotte. And she goes, what the? <laughs> and she freaked out because yeah. she was pregnant and she was expecting a baby yeah. and she wanted to use the name Charlotte. Mm. And I go, okay, this is a show. And yeah. so I wrote out five episodes. I put out a casting call. Mm -hmm raised about $5,000, had never done anything like this in my entire year. Amazing. Cast 22 people Whoa. that I've never met before, <laughs> filmed it over the pandemic, and then bada bing, bada boom, it literally like led me into this in incredible relationship, great new friends, endless opportunities. Like mm. I won a ton of awards. And then I connected with Andy Walden shortly after. And then we co-created a show together and then he noticed, like, he would see it. Like, every time I would interview someone, mm -hmm. I would be like, oh, that's an idea for a show. I was like, oh, that's that's a great idea. Yeah. And then he goes, would you, by any chance, want to open? Uh, he goes, I'll, I'll open it, mm -hmm. but you run the content part. So you get to help people produce their own shows. Mm -hmm. And I, like kind of get goosebumps actually thinking about it because it is really like it's the dna of who i am mm -hmm. i never waited for anyone to give me that go ahead mm -hmm. because i just i mean i waited internally mm -hmm. but like i then was like if not now then never and so i just yeah. like took that leap of faith and made my own show and it's like still doing really well like it was produced and it was up on in 2022 we just re won another award like uh, about be like best directing and best writing and all these like great bests and so this is my dharma this is my god-given mm. gift is to see people and see their talent and also be like a light to say hey i'm your green light like if you feel stuck come into studio place mm -hmm. work with me and andy and yeah. and create your own show where people normally you know who have dreamt about this for years can only you know, spending a couple hundred dollars and have like a product to show people, Yeah. you know, it's, just, it's incredible. It is. And I'm going to talk to some of the, and I'm going to use this word. You didn't okay. I'm gonna talk to the regular people out there. So, <laughs> okay. so some of the people out there, I'm going to look directly into the camera. Some of the people out there are thinking like, okay, yeah, all these names that were dropped, Jennifer Aniston, you can do this, you can do that, all these other things, amazing. But my story is the opposite. I was a financial advisor. I didn't even know about being in front of a camera or doing an interview. So all these things that you did, I wish I knew about Studio mm -hmm. Place when I was getting started because yeah. I'll tell you, my first 300 episodes, which whether somebody uses Studio Place, No Place, Your Home, whatever you're doing, <laughs> <laughs> like go out there one of my missions is to help people uh, just do it like yeah. go do it I, I like to say this all the time I'm like my first 300 episodes were done on my cell phone I didn't even want to do the show the other yeah. co-founder was telling me at his name is Chirag he was telling me Adam you have to do a podcast you have to do a show I'm like yeah. I don't want to do a podcast what are you talking about he's like you're going to interview me the first I was so scared Why? I didn't even, I didn't even because we're not like you we <laughs> were, no, no I'm, I'm talking to the other demographic got it. the people that are, are afraid I I, no, no, I use the word the regular people. What us. Regular per well, I don't you don't have to person. work. You don't have. No, you're not. You, you're a writer. You're a director. You're but a creator. You're a producer. But wait, but here, listen to me. Okay, listen okay, to okay, me. Okay, listen okay, to okay. me. Okay, okay, okay. That's a compliment to you. Thank if the, you, thank if, the, you. if, if, if I, you, I didn't grow up when I was three years old thinking about the world as a set. Like your talent that you bring is so much more than the studio. And the fact that people get access to you is something to, for them to be thankful for, Thank number you. one. But it can Thank bring you. them on their journey faster. Whereas yeah. I've done over 6,000 interviews. Jeez. So, yeah, but that was just to even get decent in front of camera, <laughs> like like in all reality. So hopefully I'm somewhat watchable. But yes, no, you are. You're I know. Really Thank you. You're but welcome. again. Thank you, but I'm just saying that's now, after all this time, I can't even imagine where I could have been if I would have had somebody creatively giving me even some yeah. pointers on yeah. what to do earlier in the days. And well, then, so now that's one demographic, yeah. but now I'm going to talk to another demographic. Okay, okay. Hold right. on. Okay, I'm holding. 
the talented people out there that are like you that grew up always knowing they should be doing this and yeah. always have wanted to be in front of camera and they yeah. came to LA for this yeah. and for them in the past to mm -hmm. even just have access to be in front of the camera is a big deal but yeah. what studio place has done is made it obtainable yeah so where there's a creative staff it's not gonna they don't have to spend 10 grand to get oh, a deal or this or yeah. that but the, but if you look thing. look yeah. back 10 years ago yeah 10 years ago you want to sit in a studio you want to have a setup oh, you want to do something like that somebody gives you if you're yeah, lucky if you're and lucky, then how yeah. much time do you spend on that project you spend a year to get that one good clip whereas here I mean, for those talented people that know they want to be doing yeah. this, they should be doing this. Yeah. This to me is like the nope. shortcut. It's yeah. the shortcut. Do everything else you're doing, like mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. and launch your show. Yeah. If you want, if you and want to have like a, a talk show or a podcast, like if you see yourself in that space, like we absolutely we don't, we don't do scripted content here. I yes, mean, I do my. I actually. I actually wrote a scripted comedy series yeah. about this place. But I don't know. But but you do creativity, so I don't know. I you, Andy, really well. like everybody yeah. else, the right person yeah. walks in. They may not be shooting it here, right. but That's I don't. True. As far as I'm concerned, like you, this team comes with the package. Like yeah, I'm be. It's a good package. It, you don't even know. I'm already roping both of you in all this stuff. I'm like, <laughs> okay. oh yeah, my producers. Okay. Don't worry. We're pitching shows you don't even know about that. You, right. That you're both gonna be pulling <laughs> off, by the way. Uh, okay. So, I asked for more money, so I guess that's part of the deal. So to the okay, there you go. So then, well, we're gonna well, and apparently you know how to sell shows too, so we're good there too. You raised, yeah. we're good, we're, yeah, we're working yeah, on yeah. it. I mean, I, well, I'm getting, I'm learning, I'm learning. I mean, I, I what I, my biggest takeaway mm. is that you start with what you have, right? Love it. Like you Love start it. with what you. I started have. with my phone. You start with your phone, my phone. right? I like had if my you phone. don't have access to a couple hundred dollars to film something, yeah. you start with your phone. Everyone has a phone and everyone has a story to tell, which is what yeah. Andy always says. And, and that's something that I believe too. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you have like a great story, write it out and put it on TikTok, put it on Instagram, put it on YouTube. There's so many ways yeah. that you can get out to the world but what studio place does so well is we make it look we make it look good and you get to work with people that really truly care like that's the one thing that when people walk out they feel like wow like i feel yeah. like i worked with like people that know what they're doing mm -hmm. one and two actually genuinely care because mm -hmm. i care because my name is somehow attached to this project sure. especially if it's filmed here mm -hmm. that means a lot to me Final question for oh, you. Yeah, okay. What's next? Like, let's dream for a moment. This is the dreaming Ooh, part of the segment. Okay. What's next for you? Like, what, what's on the vision? What's on the vision board if you have one? Oh, there's so much on that. There's Come so on, much on Come on, get that. it out there. We want to um, hear. I'm ready to, so I wrote, I was going to say the Charlotte Chronicles. I, I'm ready to sell that show too. <laughs> I'm ready to film the scripted comedy version of this mm. place, Studio Place. And ready That's to, exciting. and I would love to sell that. I would also love to, you know, even be open to a reality show about it because it's really funny. But I, I'm leaning more into scripted. I'm in the process of writing a movie called Love at First Flights. I also have another show called Obsessed that mm -hmm. I'm writing. And it is with my friends. My biggest goal okay. is what we started off with is reverse engineering what Tyler Perry did. But ultimately, I really want to be like Adam mm -hmm. Sandler in like spirit because he's working yeah. with his friends. He's yeah. making content with his friends. Every day is a day in the playground for me. Like that's mm -hmm. what I want to feel like. I don't ever want to get to a point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to drive here. <laughs> yeah. And that's, there have been moments like thing. that because, because yeah, because I don't get to pick everyone that comes in here and there have been, you know, luckily, not many mm -hmm. situations where I'm like, I don't feel in alignment with that. But like, luckily, and by the grace of a higher power, God or whatever universe, like the people that have been coming in are shows that I'm so excited by. Yeah. I'm so like moved by, like your show is awesome. Like we have some incredible people coming in. So mm. the big dream is to, and I see it so clearly, mm. is to have MEM studios be producing a ton of shows, mm. content, you can stream it anywhere on your phone or whatever, like it's like virtual reality, who knows okay. at that point, and to have a beautiful place in Malibu and a G-Wagon and... Uh... Dang, I want, I, I want some of those things too. What else is on your list? I'll bring my vision board out now. I, I literally filmed a little mini, like a little mini inspo video before yeah. you came in and I'm really big on, on challenging our 
our mind or the matrix of our mind of like why we are where we are and why we think the way we think mm. and how we can go above and beyond that. Like, so if I, if I want to be Tyler Perry, yeah. okay, everything that got me up into this point is working. Like I see that mm -hmm. it's working now. Let's go even further. Yeah. So I like write old me versus new me. And like, what do I have to start thinking for new me mm. and how I have to start acting with new me? Cause I used to be a nanny. I was a nanny like in 2021. Mm -hmm. That's not even three years ago. Uh, three yeah. years ago. Uh, three years ago. Yeah. Three years ago, I was a nanny. I was a nanny. Oh, yeah. And, like, I love working with kids, too. Like, it's just I'm ready to be a billionaire. <laughs> well, you're talking about Adam kids, Sandler yeah. generating billions of dollars in revenue on his content. So yeah. that's the I'm ready for you to be a billionaire, too. Me so too. thank you. And I'm sure the audience as well. Thank you, Michelle. This has thank been you, a Adam. lot of fun having you on the show. Thank I want you. you to look into the camera, okay. tell everybody where they can follow you, how they can learn more about Studio Play. Yes. Um, follow your social media, Studio Play, social media. Like, g yeah. give us the whole rundown. I have a ton of, I have a ton Give it of, to them. I have, I have a ton. Michelle A. Murad on Instagram. And he's so funny, he's like pointing. He's like, <laughs> I like keep looking at the camera. I'm like, do I have like lipstick on my teeth? Michelle A. Murad on Instagram, Studio Place LA on Instagram, the Charlotte Chronicles are, are on Instagram. If you just go to Michelle A. Murad, you can mm -hmm. see all the things. Good Day Live, the show that I co-created with Andy. We had over yeah. 200 episodes. It's a lot. But my main thing, my main thing is I want to give people the opportunity to, like, pursue their mm -hmm. dreams. So if you have a show idea or you want to be in front of the camera and ha have your own show, podcast, what have you, DM me. Let's work together. Let's make yeah. magic happen and lean into your dreams because they can happen. Amazing. Yeah. And again, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you and for having me. This absolutely. is awesome. I love and then this. to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. This is a daily show. Each and every day, we're bringing you new content, new creators, new episodes, and hopefully new inspiration because we want this to help you along in your journey as well. And in terms of how to learn more about Studio Place, Michelle, I will put all of that information in the show notes so that you can just click on the links and head right on over.